welcome back <laughs> happy hump day um, today I am just kind of doing a little chit chatty get ready with me chit chatty doing my makeup get ready with me I'm not gonna show you like me getting dressed and everything um, I know I didn't post a video on Sunday I'm still kind of getting into the swing of filming again I didn't film a lot of videos when I was in hiatus because I didn't know what you all wanted to see and now that I have some kind of an idea of that and you know I didn't want videos to be irrelevant um so yeah anyway today is just going to be a look that I've been wearing pretty regularly um I actually wore it I think in the video where I did the um, video on the Mary Kay 2015 summer line and I wore those products and I actually had a lot of people ask about it so I decided that I would film that I have some meetings today so I thought that it would just be a nice summery look um, and yeah you guys would like to see that two birds one stone so we're gonna get started um, the first thing I'm gonna do um, my face it's cleansed everything like that I've got the box of stuff right here by my side so when I keep looking down it's because everything is down here um, but the first thing I'm gonna do is prime my face and I kind of use two different things um, I use the oil or the Mary Kay um, oil mattifier that I'm gonna put on and I put that just all over my t-zone and the super oily spots my cheeks love to eat my foundation so I'm just pressing that in, in on my eyelids because my eyelids get super greasy. Alright, and the next thing I'm going to do is put on some um, Mary Kay primer. And this is just to help smooth out my skin. Um, I'm kind of putting it in the same places, just pressing that in. It's going to help fill in any lines, things like that. Smooth out the skin and just help the base sit better. Also, because it's so hot and sticky outside, I just feel like it helps my makeup stay on a little longer. And because it's so hot and sticky, I put the oil modifier on once, but I'm going to go back in and put it on again. I have just, I have incredibly greasy, greasy skin. So I put that on the areas over again. So it's kind of like a double, a double whammy, a double oil absorption. And because it's in between you know the mattifier the primer the mattifier I really feel like it helps so long spiel all right so the next thing I'm using is the um, Mary Kay CC cream my color is medium to deep it has SPF 15 in it I really like this um, and I'm using just a a real techniques real techniques expert face brush I like this brush it's nice it's dense I like the CC cream because it's light enough for the summer that you don't have to worry about the full coverage or anything like that. I mean, nobody wants to really have to worry about it when your makeup is just melting off your face. Next, I'm going to take the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Powder. I couldn't find my Mary Kay Translucent Powder. I'm not really sure what I did with it. But I'm taking that and a Mary Kay Powder Brush, and I'm just going to set that um, CC Cream. Again, it's just to help prevent all of the oiliness. Woo! You can see that powder. It's just to help with all of the oil control. kind of set that CC cream in place. We're going to move on to eyes and I'm just going to take some primer and prime my eyes because yeah we all know my song and dance and the saga of my eyelids eating product. So we're going to take this pretty little thing and this is the Mary Kay at Play Trio in Neapolitan. So it's got kind of like a vanilla shade, a chocolate shade, and then a really pretty um, pink strawberry shade. And the first brush I'm going to take is just this Urban Decay brush. It came with the Naked 3 palette. And I'm going to take the first shade, this vanilla shade, 
just take a little bit and put it kind of in my brow bone and dust it all over the lid. All three of these shades are really shimmery. Um, so, I mean, you could alternate and matte them out with things. I like them just because, you know, in the summer, you like a little bit of shimmer. You like to look a little bit, a little bit glowy, pretty. Really tucking that under the brow bone at the moment. I know, I think it's a really, really pretty highlight, that vanilla shade. And into that inner corner. My brows aren't done yet, so... <laughs> Alright, next I'm taking the Mary Kay um, Eye Smudger Brush and I'm going to take that pretty pink shade and that's going to be the color that we put all over the base of the lid. I'm really trying to emphasize that pretty pink. It's very soft, but it's still really, really pretty. I love these three colors together. Let's see that. It's so dark and dreary outside, so I apologize that I can't film outside. I'm sitting in front of a big light and a big <laughs> the camera in my room. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry about that. I really like filming outside so that you can see more of the, you know, just the colors naturally. Um, but this will do. Makes me think of Babe. That'll do, pig. That'll do. That's my kitty. She's playing with her toy. I'm just going to add a little bit more onto this lid. On Wednesday, Wednesdays, we wear pink. What's that movie? <laughs> I'm sure everybody knows. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm going to take this little brush, and this is the Zoeva... Um, Lux Petite Crease Brush and we're going to use the chocolatey shade. Just take a tiny bit of that and put it into the outer corner. Really, really light hand because this stuff's glittery and we don't want the fall out. It just smokes it out a little bit. Really just making sure that that's all blended in well. I don't want anything harsh because I want it to be nice and soft. And I just prolonged blink to let you see. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to move on to my brows. And they're pretty well shaped. Just got them done a little bit ago, but I'm going to use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and Chocolate with the little brush and spoolie thingy that come with it. I like this stuff. Um... I think that you can make a soft brow with it and a more defined brow. Um, other people don't. They think that, you know, you've got a very defined brow with it. But I just use a very light hand. So, brows. Okay, both brows done. And remember that eyebrows are sisters, not twins. And I figured I just showed you little bits and pieces of the brows filled in because it's really boring to sit here and watch me, you know, comb through that and all that jazz. Next step we're gonna take is the lower, uh, well, we're gonna line the upper lash line a little bit with this. And this is the Mary Kay at Play Shadow End Liner in Rebel Rose. So this one side has a really nice black crayon on it. So we're just going to do a tiny little bit in the corner of the black. Just little, little definition there. Tiny bit of liner, like the smallest amount for real. And then we're going to take the other side, which is this really pretty rose gold color, and we're going to smudge that um, onto the bottom lash line, really just kind of on the outside. I'm 
going for a very pink eye today. Oh, my nose. Huh. Very, very pink eye. We're going to take the same brush that we used to do the all over vanilla color and just blend this in. It just softens it up a little bit to me. I like the way it looks. You could also use the At Play Crayon, I think, in the mellow yellow or something like that. I can't remember the name, actually. Let me look. Caramello, um, which is more of a golden shade. Um, I think this is actually the one I had on in that video, but I like the Rebel Rose color. I just think that the pinks look nice and pretty together. So now we're going to put on some eyeshadow. You guys, my ride or die. You've seen this a bazillion times. Well, every time I've done a tutorial, Mary Kay Lash Love Lengthening. Love this mascara. It just... Apparently, I found out that it is not a lengthening mascara, which I didn't know because the name's a little deceiving, a little, a little silly in my opinion, um, but I don't care what they call it. I think it just gives the most beautiful, fanned out, butterfly lashes and ugh, just so pretty. I love it. I think it does a great job at separating. It gives length. It adds a little volume. I think that's my personal opinion. That's none of the claims of the um, mascara, though. My legs are falling asleep. <laughs> Wonder if you guys can hear the TV in the background. It's like Golden Girls. I have Golden Girls on in the morning, like when I'm getting ready. It's just, they're so cute. I can't believe Betty White's the only one left. Golden Girls was so ahead of its time. Just so iconic. I used to watch it with my mom all the time when I was a kid. Love that show. All right, so we've only got like two more steps left. Oh, I forgot a brush. Alrighty, so we're going to take this awesome little thing, and this is the Mary Kay at Play Lip and Cheek Stick in Peach Pop. I love this. I have been wearing this nonstop, like literally nonstop. And I mean, it's a twist up. So what I do, I just like to take it and you remember like those old fashioned creepy dolls that had like the, ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah, I like to do that. I just think it looks hilarious. It reminds me of the dolls with the really, you know, um, really defined cheeks. Where did I put that brush? Ha, ah, found it. So I'm just taking um, a small stippling brush. This is an elf brush. It's really nice for doing these cream cheek colors. And I'm just going to, Smile and blend that out. I have a weird shaped face. I think it, it's ovally, but it's round, but it's hardish. So I just kind of go with and say that I have a heart shaped face and do things however I want. And I've, I've always, I don't know about you, but I always look at like those little things that it says, oh, what's your face shape? And this is how you should apply contour and blush and things like that. And I love those things, don't get me wrong. They're great, they really are. But I can't ever tell what my face shape is. And I think my face shape is just so different from others. Um, so I don't really know what to do. I just know what looks good on my face. So yeah, let that be the rule of thumb. Just do what you think looks good on your face. Now, I mean, if you've got, you know, like the 80s blue eyes and the bright red cheek and people are like, mm. honestly, if it makes you happy and that's what you want to look like, do it. <laughs> but my point is you can't always follow those face charts because you just don't know what you are. At least I don't. So why don't you comment below and let me know what's my face shape? Okay, all right, now I um, have found in the summer to keep my blush on longer, I like to double up. So I'll do a cream blush, but then I also really like to do a powder blush too. So I am taking this one, which is the Mary Kay blush in Juicy Guava. It's more of the peachy one, and just apply that because it complements the peach pop really nicely. Ooh. That's a lot. 
and I mean to do that or just take that powder brush and <laughs> blend that in I'm gonna run back and take that stippling brush and just put it in the highlight that comes with that and just put a little on the highlight of my cheekbones I love these new duos because they've got the highlighter with them they're just really pretty okie dokie Smokey Jones last but certainly not least is the lip color and this is going to be the Mary Kay Nuri Shine Plus lip gloss in Create Change now ooh, this um, was the only thing in the summer line that is limited edition and it is a charity lip gloss so a portion of all the sales go to benefit I believe it's either the Mary Kay Foundation or foundations I'm, it all goes to help women so either cancers that affect women or domestic violence um, victims and shelters so it all goes to a really great cause I can't remember I apologize um, actually let me see I can look down here really quick yes part of the proceeds go to the Mary Kay Foundation which just goes to they then take money and divvy it out to um, women and children in need whether it's domestic violence shelters cancer research things like that so I'm just taking this it's a nice pretty it's kind of got like a dual gloss if you see there's like the pink and then that pretty purple but they mix together really nicely just gonna put that on my face And that's it. Yeah, I, I took my hair down off camera. So, um, yeah, thanks guys so much for watching. I hope you like this. This is just the look that I've been kind of going to a lot. I do have another look that I'm going to do that is a really simple, basic, everyday type of thing where it's very minimal makeup, but you still look very clean and polished. Um, I've been wearing that a lot lately too, but when I want something a little bit more glammed up or if I have meetings or just want to look a tiny bit look a tiny bit more put together I put this on it's just easy um I mean you know it took longer because they filmed it but it is really like a five minute five to ten minute thing um thanks guys so much for watching I'm really getting back into the swing of this um please bear with me while I still get you know used to it and the consistency back down Please, if you don't already, follow me on Instagram and Twitter because that is where I will communicate with you about things. I like talking to you guys in that way and it's just better. Um, the YouTube comment system is kind of all over the place and I don't get the comments that you guys leave until like way later, which is weird. I try to respond back as much as possible, but sometimes it doesn't always show up until like a day or two late, which is kind of... Odd, and I feel bad because then I don't want you guys to think that I'm not paying attention so yeah do that Instagram and Twitter the links will be below in the description bar don't forget to subscribe if you don't already just so that you get updates every time I upload a new video if you like if not that's okay thanks for being my YouTube buddy and I will see you guys next time bye